my name is uh, Dave Musson. I'm a um, uh, professor from McMaster University with uh, two graduate students beside me right here, uh, Mr. Matthew Turnick Hi. and Mr. Bosco Law. We're here at the Houghton Mars Project 2009 summer season uh, and we are running a telemedicine and resuscitation project. This is uh, Sim Man. He's a high fidelity patient simulator able to uh, uh, breathe and have heart problems and have uh, all kinds of disorders that we give him. And our plan this summer is to run him through a, all of his paces, give him some illnesses, have people on site resuscitate him, uh, have some of our uh, tertiary care experts uh, down south supervise some of these resuscitations through uh, telemedical uh, links that we have to southern uh, hospitals. Um, and uh, lots of exciting stuff going on. Matt, would you like to say a few words? One of the problems we have with uh, high fidelity simulation is that he's really only meant to be used in a control simulated setting or operating room in a center like McMaster University. So taking him out here, we've encountered a number of problems and a lot of uh, learning opportunities here in adapting the technology that you see around and bringing it out into an isolated and remote environment. Everything from the logistics to the technology and how it stands up in the extreme environment like the cold the psychological coping. <laughs> so the psychological coping of having your co-workers arrive halfway through and uh, take over your space. So you, you've been here longer than they have. I have, yeah. I was uh, sent here as a bit of slave labor by my supervisor to help set up camp and actually run one of our other projects related to stress and coping, uh, ironically. So I've been here for two weeks and uh, they'll be here for ten more days and I'll stay two weeks afterwards and help clean up camp. Uh, for a couple of days, I think. Yeah, we've been here for about two days now, and we're here for about uh, five or six more days. So yeah, we do have to do these uh, field testing. So otherwise, it's all it's all uh, theoretical, exactly. So uh, yeah, so we're, we're glad that we're we're doing this because all those theoretical models might not have worked, and there's we we're encountering some field problems uh, that we're trying to overcome. And we're also discovering gems just by run, running uh, these, these scenarios in the field. So we're glad we're here. Yeah, he does have eyes. They're not uh, overly responsive. He has a severely ripped tongue. Matt did that on his first day here. It was his present to the project. And you can feel his pulses. Yes, you can feel his pulses and his carotid pulse here. Yep. You can feel both femoral pulses and a radial pulse over here as well as a brachial pulse underneath the blood pressure cuff, which you can actually uh, do an auscultated blood pressure reading, which means you can listen through a stethoscope and he'll produce the uh, appropriate heart sounds. And you can do a palpated blood pressure. And you can do a palpated blood pressure as well, as well as listening to his heart and chest sounds, or breath sounds. One of the purposes of our project is to look at uh, um, giving basic medical skill sets to people who have very little medical training and seeing what degree of uh, illness and how severe an illness we can treat using a very close supervision provided uh, through telemedical support on the internet. 